Welcome to PLCE University. This was our first lab project manual that we wrote 10 years ago. Originally it was three separate manuals, Basics, Advanced 1, and Advanced 2, and we simply combined it into one volume that you see here. In order to make it a complete PLC Learn series, we added the lecture discussions for all of these lab projects. So you see Basics, Advanced 1, and Advanced 2, you see the same colors and scheme in the disk set, plus one additional disk labeled Information, and it has manuals on all of the MicroLogix processors, as well as it has copies of the software that was free from the manufacturer of the MicroLogix processors, there's copies of all three pieces of software, RS Lynx Lite, MicroStarter Lite, and Emulate 500. Now that software only supports the MicroLogix 1000 and the MicroLogix 1100. This manual was written for the MicroLogix 1000 1761L10 BXB. This manual was originally written with that MicroLogix 1000 1761L10 BXB that is no longer being manufactured, but there are plenty available on the internet from other vendors. The content of this manual has been revised and improved and now looks like this. So this is, the bulk of this manual is the same content that was in the previous manual, but new material has been added. And this disk set that you see still supports this particular project manual. These are no longer available except in bulk. This is the, the new manual, and this manual comes with the information disk. All of these manuals that are ordered come with the information disk that includes the software for Micro Starter Lite, RS Lynx Lite, and 500 Emulate. This is our latest manual. This is completely new content. This is not the same content as the previous manuals using, we'll call it the RS Logix 500 venue. The projects in this are basically new and we also have a video lectures, 31 of them, that support all the projects in this lab project manual. A real quick review of our PLC eUniversity website as it currently is. Keep in mind this can change. A start here and we ask you to read this first and then we break it up by what your experience level is. However, you can jump right to classrooms and you can pick a subject and go watch those lectures. Right now if I pick uh, Programmologic Controllers it will take me to a web page that has a list of lectures. Any of these lectures that I click on is going to take me to a YouTube video that you can watch and when you're done watching it you simply close and you're right back in the classroom to watch the next lecture in the series. The previous lab project manuals for the 1000 and 1100, you've seen both of those, basic lab projects and it shows you a picture of both manuals. These lab project discussion lectures can be used with either one of these two manuals. You notice some of them are labeled as a lecture because they are not for lab projects. They are specifically for non-lab project subjects. You can also go down and find lots of other content on Ethernet, PLC communications, industrial control systems, and then programmable automation controllers. Now right now we have very limited content for 5,000 free on the site, but we have a ton of it available in the form of manuals and disk sets. We will be adding another menu item here for the MicroLogix 1400 lab project discussions that will be new on this website. We also have live classroom courses, hands-on training. This is where you find the bulk of the products. So if you look at the four categories over here, MicroStarter Lite and MicroLogix 1100. These are the products that support that learning thread. And then for the 1400, 
we have some of the same products because there is overlap between the 1,100 and 1,400. And then we also, and then for RS Logics 5000 beginner, we have two manuals and a disc set. And then for advanced, we have two manuals and two disc sets. To watch the free videos on the website, go to classrooms, and go down and pick your subject, and then go to the classroom of interest, and then you can scroll down and just click on a video. As a relay contact, we close them on YouTube. And when you're done, like I said, you just close down, you're right back in the classroom.